Hello friends, welcome to the Viva House of Anatomy. Today we will see the dissection of a gluteal region. So first we will make a skin incision. The skin incision we will make are along the superior gluteal fold, inferior gluteal fold and the midline. After making the skin incision, we will reflect the skin along with it the superficial fascia to the lateral. Here I had already made the skin incision. Now I will reflect the skin with the superficial fascia laterally. Now below it you will find the deep fascia of the thigh that is facial lata covering the gluteus maximus. So we have to remove the fascia lata from the surface of the gluteus maximus. Now <coughs> we, we will trace the gluteus maximus from its origin to the insertion. Gluteus maximus will originate medially from the area of the hip bone behind the uh, posterior gluteal line, the sacrum from its back, from the side of the coccyx and from the sacrotubulus ligament and it is get inserted into the larger part is inserted into the iliotibial tract, the modification of the deep fascia of the thigh and its deeper fiber it will get inserted into the gluteal tuberosity on the back of the femur bone. Okay. Now I will cut the gluteus maximus along its origin from its medial end and I will reflect it laterally. Here also I had already cut from its medial end. So I just have to reflect it laterally like this. Now you can see under surface of a gluteus maximus towards its center the two uh, important structures the gluteal vessels, inferior gluteal vessels and the inferior gluteal nerve that is, that is its nerve supply entering into the gluteus maximus to supply it. Right? So this is inferior gluteal nerve, the Y structure and this is inferior gluteal vessels. This is the inferior gluteal artery and inferior gluteal vein. Now we will cut this structure to expose the structure under cover of gluteus maximus. Now we will see the structure under cover of a gluteus maximus. Gluteus maximus we have reflected. Now the first muscle, the key muscle is the pyriformis. The piriformis arises from the pelvic surface of the sacrum from the middle three piece of a sacral vertebra and it will get inserted into the apex of a greater trochanter of the femur. It is called the key muscle because the important structure will passes, emerges from its superior surface and some important structure passes below its lower border. Okay. Now, the structure which emerges from its superior border, above its superior border are superior gluteal nerves and vessels which will supply the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus. So the above the pyriformis muscle, this fan shaped muscle you see is gluteus minimus muscle, uh, sorry gluteus medius muscle that will arise from the area of a uh, ilium between the anterior gluteal line and posterior gluteal line. So we will cut this gluteus medius muscle from its origin and we will reflect it inferiorly. Under surface of the gluteus medius you can see the nose and the vessels supplying each and the underlying muscle, small muscle that is gluteus minimus. So this now is a superior gluteal nerve and the vessels are the superior gluteal vessels. Now below this gluteus medius you can see the another small muscle that is the gluteus minimus muscle. Gluteus minimus muscle will arise from the area of the hip bone between the anterior gluteal line and the inferior gluteal line. Now we will see the structure which emerges below the lower border of the pyriformis. Starting from the lateral to medial side the most medially, the thickest nerve of the body, the important one, that is the sciatic nerve. This is the sciatic nerve. The medial to the sciatic nerve, you will have the posterior gluteus nerve of a thigh. 
then you will have the inferior gluteal nerves and vessels and the most medially most medially here you cannot able to see here to see you have to cut the sacrotibrous ligament the upper part you can see the structure the most medially below the lower border of a pyriformis that is now go obturator internus internal duodenal vessels and the duodenal nerve now this structure it will coming out from the pelvic cavity passes into the gluteal region through the greater sciatic foramen up it will wind round behind the ischial spine and it will enter into the perineum now <coughs> below this structure you will have the two twin muscle that is the superior gemini and the inferior gemini and between it you can see the tendon that is a tendon of this y structure is of a obturator internus and last below the inferior gemini you can see one quadrate muscle that is a quadratus femoris so these all are the structure which are under cover of the gluteus maximus so this is all about the dissection of the gluteal region thank you if you like this video like it and share with your friends and to get the regular update on the anatomy videos please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon